With Pacquiao's looming retirement, it indeed feels like the end of an era. Boxing may have been losing its popularity, well, in the United States at least, but this gentleman's sport has continued to give us legendary fighters and exciting matches in the last few decades. Today we shout out some of the greatest modern boxers of all time, that is from the 1980s till now, and not in order. Oscar De La Hoya We're starting this list with one of America's greatest contemporary boxers, Oscar De La Hoya. The orthodox boxer earned the nickname The Golden Boy at 19 when he won against German golden medalist Marco Rudolph at the Barcelona 1992 Olympics. This was indeed the start of his golden career, as he won 31 consecutive matches since his debut in professional boxing in 1992. Of those 31 wins, 19 ended in knockouts, defeating the likes of Hector Camacho and Julio Cesar Chavez. By the late 90s, he was branded as Fighter of the Year and top-rated fighter by The Ring magazine, also its best pound-for-pound -pound fighter. At the end of his 16-year career, he had won a total of 10 world titles in six weight divisions. Unsurprisingly, the Golden Boy was one of the sport's biggest audience pulls and the second highest career earner in professional boxing history, gaining popularity not only inside the ring but also in social media. De La Hoya was well-liked by most boxing fans for his legacy, his rags-to-riches background, and his charming personality and good looks. Saul Canelo Alvarez From a humble beginning in Mexico to becoming one of the most talked-about boxers in the world today, Canelo Alvarez's career is nothing short of impressive. The four-division champion is an impressive counterpuncher known to deliver vicious body shots. His ring name Canelo is short for Little Cinnamon in Spanish, due to his ginger hair and freckled face which contrasted the usual appearance of most Mexican boxing legends. He started boxing professionally at the age of 15 and won all 43 consecutive matches until 2013. At 20 years old, he gained his first world middleweight title against Matthew Hatton and earned his second one in 2013 against Austin Trout. Unfortunately, he lost both belts the same year to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Learning from his loss, Alvarez improved both his attack and defenses, which he showcased in his match for the WBC middleweight championship against Miguel Cotto. By 2019, Canelo only needed one more major title in order to become the undisputed champion of the middleweight division. However, in a daring historic move, he jumped two classes up and challenged Sergei Kovalev for the light heavyweight title. His unprecedented win and excellent match further cemented his status as one of the youngest and biggest champions of the world today. His match with Floyd Mayweather Jr. still remains as his only career loss. Manny Pacquiao He was declared Fighter of the Decade in 2010 by the Boxing Writers Association of America the only boxer to hold the world title in four different decades, the first and only fighter in history to be an eight-division world champion, and after his most recent match in 2019 with Thurman, the oldest boxer to win a welterweight title at 41 years old. As of 2020, he remains in the top 10 list of BoxRec, The Ring, BWAA, and the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board, or TBRB, for the world's best active pound-for-pound -pound boxers. This Filipino icon who came from a very poor household in Mindanao is a boxing legend and truly one of the greatest fighters of his generation. Starting his career at only 108 pounds, this tiny but mighty southpaw boxer faced all the top fighters he could until he dominated eight weight classes. It didn't matter that his opponents were usually bigger, heavier, or more experienced. In fact, his often underdog status made his matches that much more epic and thrilling for boxing fans. This always ready-to-fight attitude is partly because boxing was the only way to support himself and his family early in his career. Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko This entry is a double feature with the Klitschko brothers, boxing champions that were as vicious as they were smart. Let's start off with Vitaly, the older of the two. A multi-talented fighter who is not only the leader of a political party, Ukrainian Democratic Alliance for Reform, but also a member of the Ukrainian parliament, all the while while he held the WBC heavyweight championship title. He is also the first ever title holder to have a PhD degree along with other notable accolades, one of which is having the second highest knockout percentage in boxing history. 
One of his biggest claims to fame, however, is the fact that he has never been KO'd and never lost a match by unanimous decision. Yes, God does have favorites. His younger brother Vladimir certainly does fall behind. With a stellar record of 64 wins and 5 losses, he consolidated multiple heavyweight championship titles in a time when boxing was more diverse than ever. Though he had a heavy build, Vladimir was more of a strategist rather than a brawler, and his matches would easily fill 50 to 60,000 soccer stadiums. He is the longest reigning IBF, WBO, and IBO heavyweight champion in history. Together, this power duo are the first in almost 130 years of boxing history to hold all of the titles in their division at the same time. Juan Manuel Marquez When we mentioned Pacquiao, you probably knew he was coming soon. A Mexican boxer with world titles in four different classes, his fast technique and explosive attacks earned him the nickname Dinamita or Dynamite. To prove it, 40 out of his 56 wins ended in knockouts. He is credited for his extremely technical play style that complemented his explosiveness. At the same time, his impressive resilience enables him to bring a fight to an all-in slugfest if need be. His entire career spanned well over two decades with almost every title match against Manny Pacquiao. The epic saga between these two great fighters was one of the highlights of his career. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. In 2010, J.C. Chavez Sr. together with Mike Tyson was inducted to the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Starting his career with 87 wins, of which 86 ended by knockout and a total of 107 wins out of 118 fights, it was definitely an expected call. His match against Greg Hogan in 1983 drew over 136,000 fans. He was the Ring Magazine's best boxer from 1990 to 1993 and won over six world championships in three weight divisions. Though he had defeated the likes of Greg Hogan, the late Hector Camacho, and Edwin Rosario, his most notable one would be the one against Medrick Taylor. His shocking upset after delivering a hard right straight to Taylor's chin, which ended the fight just two seconds on the final round, had earned him both the fight of the year and fight of the decade in the 1990s. He is most likely Mexico's greatest champion, Pernell Whitaker. Don't let his nickname Sweet P fool you as this legendary southball was one of, if not, the best defensive players the sport had ever seen. Carrying a record of 40 wins and 4 losses, 17 of which ended with knockout, Whitaker was born in Norfolk, Virginia, and started his professional career in the early 80s. Being a defensive counterpuncher, only a few could stand up against his unique style for more than a decade. He would go on to win four different division titles and become the undisputed champion in the lightweight category for the entire span of his career. In fact, he's the current holder of the longest unified lightweight championship reign in boxing history, also earning him a spot in the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Nowadays, You'd be really hard-pressed to find a boxer who's both famous as he is controversial like Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. Even if he's not your favorite boxer, Floyd's genius when it comes to boxing is undeniable. He's a defensive strategist who'd won 15 major world titles in five divisions. Not to mention, he holds a rare undefeated record, that is, 50 wins and zero losses. He was famous or rather infamous for choosing opponents that would bring him the most lucrative outcome. And while he would go on to retire and return to the sport multiple times, what further cemented his status as the king of his era was his fight and subsequent win by unanimous decision against Filipino sensation Manny Pacquiao, aptly named the fight of the century. Joe Kulsegi Another undefeated champion, we have the pride of Wales, Joe Calcegi. The Welsh titan is widely considered the greatest middleweight boxer to have ever graced the sport. In the peak of his career, he was practically unstoppable, and he was the most avoided boxer at the beginning of the 21st century. He is the sport's longest reigning super middleweight champion, who also held major titles in the light middleweight division. He dominated for 10 straight years, defeating 20 different challengers. From 2006 to 2008, he was considered one of the top 10 active boxers in the world. Also in 2007, he won BBC's Sports Personality of the Year Award. He had retired undefeated and was still reigning world champion in 2019. Mike Tyson 
Seeing his name already speaks for itself, just like how Michael Jackson is synonymous to pop and Michael Jordan is to basketball. It's just hard not to think of boxing every time Mike Tyson's name is brought up. He is definitely one of the top five most famous boxing stars of all time. Born as Michael Gerard Tyson in 1966, this man from Brooklyn was the most frightening dominant force to ever enter in the heavyweight division. His matches during mid and late 1980s were nothing short of legendary, and his knockout game was extraordinary. He had earned the monikers The Baddest Man on the Planet and Iron Mike Tyson. He was widely known for his ferocious fighting style and generally controversial behavior both inside and outside the ring. In his early career, he was also called the Kid Dynamite. After winning all 37 consecutive matches and only four of his opponents were awake to hear the bell. Perhaps his most memorable fight was his shocking 91 win against Michael Spinks. He'd won a total of 50 matches and 6 losses. This may not sound as glamorous compared to our past entries, but at just 20 years old, Tyson had become the youngest boxer to become an undisputed champion in the heavyweight division. This earned him a spot in both the International Boxing Hall of Fame and World Boxing Hall of Fame. Which of these GOATs of modern times is your favorite? And let us know why in the comments section below. For more hard-hitting content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video.